Hey there, mama friend, and welcome to the 5-Minute Mom Podcast, where we'll talk about real life, real faith, real fast. To learn more about all of our co-hosts or to sign up for a free monthly resource email, be sure to check out all the links in the podcast show notes. Hey friends, it's Simi John. The other day I was sitting and waiting in the car line to pick up my son, and around the school were these little trees they had just planted recently, maybe around the summer. And each tree was tied to two little metal poles. And I began my little car line chronicles and started to explain to my 10-year-old daughter who was waiting with me about what we were looking at. See, this tree wasn't a baby tree, but it wasn't quite mature yet. So the tree needed support to handle the weather, the uh, crazy Oklahoma winds, because otherwise it'll blow it all around and the tiny branches of this tree will break. And just like that tree, I told her, you are growing into a beautiful tree that one day will have so many leaves and strong branches that birds can make a nest. And you'll bear fruit that'll help someone walking by who's hungry. You'll have beautiful blooms that will make strangers stop and enjoy the wonder of God's handiwork. But right now, right now you're like that little tree. You need some support to hold you straight because you're not strong enough on your own. So we all have those two poles that anchor us to the ground as we are maturing in life. And sometimes those two poles can seem uncomfortable, tightly squeezing the trunk of this little tree, stopping it from going wherever the wind blows. And it may seem unfair. Just let the tree go wherever it wants. But you see, those poles are necessary for this tree to become all it was meant to be. For you, I told her, these two poles are love and discipline. The two poles that anchor all of us in life are those two things. It is love and discipline. And love sounds beautiful. It gets us in the feels. Discipline, not so much. But let me explain. See, all of us We all need to know that we are loved, regardless of our performance, regardless of what we do or what we become. We need to know that we are loved. That love anchors us and grounds us as we live day to day in a world that tells us that we are not worthy of love, that we need to look like this to be loved. We need that pull that anchors us to the ground as we're maturing, as we're growing up, that tells us that we are rooted, that we are grounded in love no matter what. And then the other side is a pole that anchors us to the ground through discipline. That means, yes, I am loved no matter what I do or what I become, but I have purpose. That means that I'm going to show up, that I'm going to be faithful, that I'm going to try, that even when I don't feel like doing the right thing, I'm going to do the right thing. Even when I don't feel like showing up, I'm going to show up. I'm going to do my homework. I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to make the right choices because that discipline is important, is vital for me to grow and mature and become all that I am meant to be. And friend, as you're listening today, you, no matter how old you are, you also have those two poles. You also need those two anchors that ground you as you mature into all that you have been created and called to be, knowing that you are worthy of love. You are loved. You are so loved and that you have to show up and be faithful in the things that God has called you to do, even on the good days and even on the bad days, even on those days when you don't feel like it, you have to show up. That discipline and that love is what matures us to allow us to be a blessing, to receive all the things that God has for us so that we can pour out into this world our potential, our purpose. So today, I want you to look at your life and I want you to know that you are loved and that you 
have potential. So show up wherever you are. Walk into that room knowing that you are loved and that you have purpose.